Hello guys, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Yao Asim Pisichere and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. Now, in today's video, I want, to sh I want to share with you four things to consider when selecting the right maize seed for your maize farming to be able to get the good yield that you expect. Okay, and in these four, four um, things I'm going to talk about, I have named them the CEPP four things to consider when selecting a good maize seed for your maize farm okay now the first item which is the C is certification certification when you're selecting most especially this hybrid seed you should look out for certification you should make sure that the seed is certified make sure it is certified okay and you can confirm this um, by the certi certification body as labeled on that um, variety okay on that package you can confirm it from that um, certification organization as labeled on that um the, on, on 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 that uh, label okay now the second item which is the e is expensive doesn't mean quality the second item to look for is that expensive or to consider is that expensive doesn't mean quality okay why am i saying this so most of the times we we perceive expensive we we, we perceive expensive um varieties as the best and the reason i'm saying this is that you know most of the varieties are imported okay and we know the import duties that we have that we have to deal with in this country or in this part of the world okay and what happens is that if somebody imports a maize variety all the import duties all the cost that he has he or she has incurred in bringing the variety here he they are going to add all these costs you know at the end of the day you realize that the, the price of the product has increased so much that doesn't necessarily mean the thing is of highest quality okay but because of because of what the person went through in bringing the you know the that variety to this country that is you know the reason most at times or most of the times that is the reason why it is of it is of that high price okay and it doesn't necessarily means it is the highest of quality okay so that is it before you consider that the price is um, influencing it the, the price is based on its quality or not okay it will be based on people who have used it farmers that have used that variety of maize okay to be able to tell you that okay this variety if you plant um, if you plant, if if you decide to choose this that kind of variety, you are likely to get this A B, you know, yield. Okay, you are likely to get yield of A quantity or B quantity. All right. So the third item, which is the first P, is the production and expiry date. Also look on the label and you will find the production and expiry date. You know, most of these hybrid seed, what happens is that they have they have 12 months to, you know, they, they have 12 months expiry date. Like 12 months, you know, for them to lose their quality. Okay. So you realize that if it is in, it, it, it was produced in January by December, you realize that it has lose it has lost it, its quality okay it will it will lose its its quality and if you should buy it in the next year if it is produced in january 2024 and you buy it for your 2025 season you realize that you have you know bought waste completely okay so you check out for the production and the expiry date of that variety and and most often it's that is also labeled that is also found on the label okay or, or, or on the label of the package okay 
So what is the, the last but not the least item to look out for, which is the last P? The last P is proper sealing and storage. Proper sealing and storage. Okay. Now, you know this, this, um, you know, it's important to, you know, make sure that um, this, your product is well handled. Okay. So, most of the times in these shops, these people who are selling this, this product, this maize varieties, some of the shops you go there and then the way they have handled the item isn't the best. May put it in, in mind that if the seal is broken, it is likely that the product or the maize, the seal has been terminated. Okay. Maybe, maybe it has been tempered on, you know, um, directly or indirectly. Okay, intentionally or unintentional. Okay, any which way, if it has been broken, if the seal has been broken and it is, it has been tempered on, you know, it's an alarm to know that you're not getting, you're probably not getting what you are buying or what you are asking for. Okay, so make sure that even even if you buy it and you you send it home to go, maybe maybe you you use it, maybe you bought like hundred bucks you bought like 10 bucks okay and then you use five in a season and then you want to leave for some for the next season i'm not saying the next year i'm talking about the next season because in this part of the country you realize that we have two seasons in the same year so what you can get is that you can you, you, you might you might have bought it in january like I, I i used in the example maybe in january and then you 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 planted some in in the first season in March, in February, March, and then you want to plant the rest in, in 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 September, which is the second season of the same year. Make sure that you keep it well. Make sure you keep it out in, in a cool and dry place, as is always said. Okay, so that you can maintain the quality all the time. Okay, so um, these are the four items I want you to. To, to take into consideration when selecting your seed make sure it is certified make sure the product is a certified product secondly make sure that it is you're not following the the, the price okay to to determine its quality don't just say okay this product is is um, expensive so it is quality it's of high quality it is not always the case okay and then make sure that you consider the production and expiry dates of the product and then you also make sure that um it has proper sealing and then proper packaging all right thank you very much i wish you all a very good maize farming season you know four months after now or four five months after now you all come here and meet and share good stories in our maize farming in our agribusiness journeys thank you for watching our videos keep in touch we will always bring you this type of um, um content for you to, you know to improve on your farming on your agribusiness journey thank you very much until we meet in the next one remember this is ashko tv and my name is your simplicity peace out